Hello everyone, it's Hiromi from Aging Gracefully. I'm with my grandson Yugo today. Yugo is 6 months old and he has been trying to crawl these days. But he hasn't figured it out yet. Yugo left his tummy off the floor and is able to tuck his toes under. Toes are very important for him to learn to crawl. Since he came into our world, his neck has strengthened. He can roll over and is now learning how to crawl. With these varieties of movements, his muscles are strengthening. I often join Yugo to play, but have noticed my heart rate increases, just like I am exercising. Playing with a baby can be a real good exercise. I have learned three movements from Yugo. For the back strength, Superman pose. Total body exercise with reverse push-up. For the glutes workout, frog legs. All three movements are done on the floor facing down. Be careful not to point your chin towards the floor, tuck your chin towards your collarbones. Keep a long straight neck. Be careful if you, a head feels heavy. Let's reset the position. Check your pelvis, lower abs, support this position from the core. Let's move like you go, but please keep in mind that you must always listen to your body and take things at on your pace. Let's start Hugo's Superman pose. If you have a baby around you, you can always play with them, talk to them, smile at them. So first of all, keep your legs straight, engage your glutes, and slightly turning your toes out. To protect your lower back, make sure your glutes are tight and shoulder blades tight to support your neck and head. Exhale, lift your head up, and inhale, release. So let's repeat the Superman pose. Relax your wrist and fingers. You don't want to tighten shoulder joints. So chin is slightly tucking towards collarbone. Option, you can straighten your arms like a real superman. But make sure your neck is not tight. So straight line from crown of your head to the tailbone. And also from tailbone through the inner thigh. All the way down to your toes. Inside of the foot. Every muscle is attached to your spine. I want to collect them. Think about the long, straight spine. And you're extending the spine every lift with your exhale. Reaching far away. Space between fingers. Now check your lower abs across front of the hips. Slightly tight. Four more to go. A little bit higher. And squeeze it deeper. Listen to your body. One more Superman pose. Good job. Oh, I'm already sweating. How about you? Second movement is reverse push-up. And space between fingers, tuck your toes under. And connect everything. Hold one piece, lift. Now, if you have any wrist issue, you may want to think about the heel of your hands. 
So Hugo is really practicing this reverse push-up to get ready to crawl around. I think he needs to figure out how to move his hand. Before you lift your body, make sure you're pairing your pubic bone and your sacrum or tailbone. If it's too much for wrist, you can always bend their elbows. But try not open between shoulder blades too much, stabilizing around the shoulder blades. Remember, you have so many muscles of abdominals, even back muscles, they're layers. Okay, let's do eight more. Just be strong like a yugo. We need to find more muscles. Don't hold your breath, exhale. Last three. Two. Last one. Smile at your baby. Exercise three is frog legs. So put your feet together. Listen to your hip joints. Baby Hugo is very flexible, so he can put your feet and keep them on the floor. But my hip flexors and groin area, hip joints are not flexible as much as Hugo, so I need to keep my feet up. So just check your form, it depends how tight and flexible your hip joints are. Make sure your glutes engaged and there's no space between front of the hips and floor. So already glutes engaged. And hands close towards the chest or shoulders or maybe elbows. And squeeze abdominals before you lift your chest so you don't arch your lower back. This is not a big lift because I don't want to arch your lower back. Straight up. And every time when you lift your head, I want to squeeze your glutes. Exhale through your mouth, inhale through your nose. Just to keep your feet where you feel really strong your glutes. Also using inner thigh and outer thigh. But don't forget use inner muscles around the hip joints. So your outer thigh can last longer. Make sure heels together, feet together. Keep lengthening your neck, three more to go. Exhale, lift. Last one. Whew. I really can feel glutes. My glutes are burning. Now, let's finish up these glutes. They're very warm. So, if you can just follow my movement, I want to lift your knees just a few inches.
without using momentum and this is a really good for hip joints balancing inner and outer thighs and try to lift from heels also feeling inner calf reset your pelvis if you need to eight months ago you can do it now lengthening your spine putting your head out last two last one good job everyone how are you feeling I really respect the babies now. They are not just playing, they are really exercising every action. So if you are a busy mom or a busy grandma, you can do exercise with your baby playing and exercise together.